This is uh, the drawing which is in the center of our exhibition here at the Courtauld Gallery. We uh, are proud to own this particular work. It's a drawing, a double-sided drawing, showing on the one side one of the five wise uh, virgins from the Bible, and on the other side uh, it shows an amazing study of Dürer's left leg uh, from two different perspectives that he studied in the year 1493. So the story goes that uh, there were ten virgins uh, who were um, asked to be vigilant uh, and keep uh, oil in their lamps. Only five of them were wise enough to keep that oil and uh, be ready when a groom arrived at midnight and this is one of them. So you would find here uh, in her uh, left hand hand uh, the burning oil lamp uh, and uh, she is shown in exactly the moment uh, that that groom appears greeting him. This is in the directness uh, of telling a story which is uh, very unusual in the time. Uh, what he is supreme at already is uh, the use uh, in his use of the pen. He shows uh, this beautiful uh, young woman with uh, long curls. We can also see that the uh, artist is uh, still uh, struggling a little bit with his uh, depiction of the female body. The uh, left breast, for example, is relatively high and also the foreshortening of that hand isn't quite there yet. We recognize uh, the very full lips of Dürer himself, the very broad uh, chin of Dürer himself, and so we find in that wise virgin uh, features of the artist himself, not wanting to give a self-portrait, but knowing his own features so well after having studied his uh, face uh, himself so often uh, that they somehow are inscribed in the figure. On the other side, uh, you find something very fascinating, and that is a study of Dürer's own left leg from two different viewpoints. When finished, and when having finished the wise virgin, he took the sheet, turned it, and flipped it, put it in his lap, and then studied by looking, da looking down on his left leg, uh, the muscles, the form of the leg, the tendons, uh, and uh, not only that, he also looked very carefully at the foreshortening, uh, which is a complicated thing to do. Dürer is really the artist who changes the path of certain German art, but actually is uh, extremely seminal for the development of art in general. So it is a work um, which is of the highest status uh, and really uh, deserves uh, to be at the center of an exhibition focusing on uh, the years uh, when uh, he in fact did this work. On the one hand side he's scrutinizing himself, he's looking at his own features, uh, but he's also looking very carefully and with uh, great care at his models during these uh, years as a young artist.